Hello, and welcome back to The Cove with more EU4 Muscovy. Alright, so we have finally finished that Philly War against all of our rivals, or at least a uh, two thirds of them, so I think that counts. Uh, yes, so we took a little bit of land, which we are very happy with. We should have our state's agenda. We have completed, but apparently not just yet. I'm wondering if that's going to take to the end of the month. Uh, but so far that's going all well, and also too, if we have a look, our technology is almost at level 10. So in, what's this? Uh, in five years time, we are going to have the option to turn into Russia. So speaking of which, one of the things we do need to do to become Russia is to have a little bit of land being owned by us directly. Now. I am thinking that we'll probably go to war with Novgorod for that nice and quickly, but we also have the option of integrating uh, Yasovlad. So I'm thinking that's what we're going to go ahead and do right about now. So we have the diplomatic rel uh, the diplomatic relation with them, so that's very good. Uh, oh, and we did actually get the, the state's agenda, so that's good to see. Uh, now comes a question. We still have a bunch of war score with Lithuania. Do we have any claims? Not at the moment. I'm thinking what we're going to do is we're going to make, use some of our claims. Oh, we could steal map. Uh, no, apparently not. Yeah, we're not going to support rebels. Let's just go ahead and make a couple of claims. They're worth having. Uh, so let's go... That's not a bad defensive fort. So we'll pick you up. And then otherwise, I think we'll try and see. Let's see. Is there any state we want to finish off? Hmm. So pretty much any of these four would do. So let's go ahead and go for them. After all, it does make the most sense to go after. After the land, that would make us the most uh, value. Alright, uh, let's see. No more spy network. That's fine. Let's go ahead and recall you. And now we can go ahead and start annexing our little friend. So, whereabouts are we? Overt actions. We want to annex Vassal. There we go. So, luckily for us, we have already planned this. So, we should have... Whereabouts is this? I think we have the integration policy. There it is, the boys' integration policy. So that will make things a little bit cheaper there, as well as uh, not bring on as many malices for annexing them. All right, nice. Uh, let's see. Okay, now we also have a little bit of money from that war. So I'm thinking what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and repay some of our loans. I think that would definitely be worth doing. I uh, think, yeah, we'll just go with the two for now. One loan is acceptable. And then with the last little bit of cash, I think we see if there's any really good value buildings. Could go for a workshop. Ooh, but that church. 0.18 is very, very nice to see. Alright, uh, they're recommending making states. Let's just check our governing capacity. Uh, we could possibly do so. What state are you talking about, Tambov? Um, not a ton of development. I'm not sure that's necessarily the best idea. Uh, maybe we save some of this for... Yeah, maybe we state some of this stuff as we move further into Europe over time. Yeah, I think otherwise... We'll, yeah, that's uh, not going to be the best bang for buck. So let's hold off on that and then we also have to move our... There we go. Uh, our armies. Alright, yes, two. So I did forget that. We have uh, rebels, so we should be able to, in the near future, be able to claim some more land back. Alright, so what's going on here? Growth of Cossacks' power. Uh, they gain influence. Alright then. Uh, not much can be done about that. Not that I think that's an issue. Alright, and we're finally making a little bit of manpower, which is very good. That's been a uh, Awfully low for a very long time. Alright, what have we got here? Nobles demand increased pensions. Hmm. So, loses stability or 10% tax. Uh, 
Cox. Well, not losing the stability, so I guess the money is going to be what it is. We have war reps and things, so it's not like we'll be hurting for cash. Uh, technology. I'm not going to do that just yet. Now, we do need to get the colonialism. Has anyone got it? Not particularly. Um, hmm. Well, I think at one point we were looking at developing it into our state. Yeah, encourage local development. Might go ahead and try and do some of that now. We have a fair bit of ex excess uh, admin mana. Let's go ahead and... What was this? Uh, Alright, so it was in a Reval. Alright, so, so let's see. Let's go... Let's do a couple of clicks with the military. I think we'll do a couple there. Uh, it's getting very costly, but hey, it's probably going to save us some in the long run, so... Yeah, okay. Closer, but uh, not quite there yet. We do need that spreading at some point. Alright, royal marriages, yeah, we'll accept that with our little uh, subjects. And I think what we'll do, too, is uh, go ahead and... Uh, let's go ahead and build a spider network against Novgorod. I think we already have a claim against one of their... One of their provinces, but if we can get the others, it'll help make things a little bit cheaper, so well and truly worth doing that. All right, uh, let's oh, you guys are mercenaries, okay? Well, that's not my manpower, so that's all fine and dandy. You guys are doing fine, we're not losing anything there. Let's go ahead and uh, yeah, we need a new advisor, okay? Ooh, administrative ideas of Mary. Ah, oh, 50 admin power. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, make sure we have something going on. Uh, land maintenance modifier. You know what? We're not really hurting for money anymore. But I don't really care about the reinforce speed at this point. So I guess the extra couple of ducats is going to be worthwhile. Still fishing for that. Uh, what, what, what do we call it? The... Uh, the reforms. At the can't think of the name of the event anymore. Radical reform. That's the one. Still fishing for that extra little bit of uh, power. That would be nice if we can get that. To help colonize. The, uh, help spend it to get colonialism. All right. What have we got here? White seas are difficult to navigate due to its nature of being accessible for only three months of the year. Yet the sea across from the White Sea is undeniably of great value. Merchants and burghers removed moved to the province of there uh, to found the town of Arkhangelsk. Okay. Well, hey, we will. Uh... All right. Oh. Free a little bit of uh, development never hurt us, so we will happily take that. Uh, let's uh, oop. keep on going. Do we win the seven percenter? No, we don't because way it goes. Okay, what have we got here? Reform the army. Uh, reform the navy. Or reform both. Hmm. Well, it would give us a discount on tech points, which could be good. Uh, morale of armies and navies is nice. I think realistically, though, let's go with the military cost. Because we can then spend... Yeah, that should give us the power to get that done. I think that's probably the best idea. Yeah, and some extra army professionalism isn't going to hurt. So let's go reform the army. Now uh, let's go back over here. There we go. We've got colonialism coming our way. Excellent. Now all that we need to do is head over here. And we'll switch out our edict for the... where is this? 
advancement effort. There we go. May as well get that coming to all of our little provinces nearby. That would be very nice. So let's see. 0 0.62, 0.95. Okay. That's not bad at all. That's, uh, yeah. The sooner we get that underway, the better. Alright. Well, now that we've got the control back from the rebels, I think we're going to... Hang on a second. We have rebels somewhere. Oh, we have some of those civil separatists. Okay. Let's just send you all the way down there. That should, uh, should sort that out. Thank you very much. And you know what? We'll just send you to, uh, yeah, look after all of the unrest. Use the mercenaries for that. And you can, uh, yeah, once you, we resiege those provinces, we can claim a little bit more land for ourselves, which I think would be very nice. All right, so what have we got? We have a proposal by the Patriarchs. Gain a little bit of prestige, which would be good. And what do we need to do? Base taxes. And so that would cost us two. We could build up to 75% manpower. That would be approximately, what? 28, 29,000 men. So that would be a couple of years, assuming we don't lose any. But that would mean we get an advisor. Okay. Uh, discipline advisor. Level 3 at half price. Hmm. Although if we go to war, we fail. So that's probably not what we're going to do. Uh, we have another one here for the burgers. Uh, hmm. What do you need to do? 30% trade power in the North Baltic. Alright, let's see. What would that look like? Uh, we have the Baltic here. 30% we... Well, could probably make that happen. Wouldn't be the end of the world. And that would be... Trade efficiency. Hmm. Or well, what's the final one? We have all provinces in the area earned by Muscovy or a subject. I would have to go back to war with the Great Horde. Well, you know what? We're no longer fighting them. They're still not very strong. We do have a little bit of admin power to go around. Yes, and I did see, yeah, though they were fighting, I think Uzbek was around here. But now apparently the Great Horde owns that, so you know what, maybe this is when we start to expand it out that way as well. Cut them off a little bit further. Cut them off down here. And then... Yeah, you know what, I like the idea of that. Uh, extra loyalty, the admin power will be nice. Sure, that'll pay for itself. Of course, so where is the claims? Okay, all the way around, including Circassia. Not that we'll fight them, because I believe they are a little uh, tributary to the Otto Man. Uh, as conquest against them. Oh no, I thought they were being uh, controlled by them. Oh well, I guess something's changed. Oh, no, they're a tributary under the Great Horde. Okay, that makes a bit of sense. Alright, what have we got here? Uh, Strilzy. Uh, for power. Money. Or just gain the power. Uh, what is our nation doing? Honestly, I don't think... The extra manpower would be nice, but we don't have any war exhaustion. That's, oh, it's practically gone. Uh, you know, let's just gain the power. I don't think it's the be-all and end-all. Alright, not too bad. Alright, so you know what? If you guys just take that, I think that's not a uh, bad spot for us. We finally have gotten to a place where we actually have a little bit of manpower. We have decent money coming in and uh, seem to have controlled our lands rather nicely. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, click the button. 
There we are. Seize the land. Everyone's remarkably happy with us. No, no, uh, what do we call them? Rebels. That's exactly what we want to see. Brings us up to 43%. Very nice. Uh, yeah. So. Yep. That's, uh, that's not bad. All right. Cool. So, now that we've got that underway, I'm thinking, uh, what's it? Fire network's still growing. Yeah, I'm thinking what we may do is, if we were to declare war on them, they do have the Great Horde as well. Uh, Papal States, yep, cool. Um, should take a couple. No one else is willing to join us, but if you look at those numbers, we do severely outnumber them, which is excellent for us. And we've now gained some more cores. That's good. You know what we should do? We should see... Uh, hmm. We probably should make that a state. That's one of our larger ones at the moment. Although Estonia is also relatively... Uh, hmm. Oh no, it is a state. Alright, what I'm thinking uh, was what we need to do is we could possibly see if we have any autonomy that we can bump down. Here we go. Uh, so we could probably gain a fair bit of... Yeah, a little bit of unrest. Sure. Yeah, because if we lower the uh, autonomy, we can probably get the most out of some of these fairly quickly. So you know what? Let's go around here. Uh, yeah. It's going to cause some rebels to spawn. But it does mean... It does mean that we're going to get more bang for our buck as we have uh, greater control over them. So that's definitely going to go ahead and start causing issues. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and... We'll get you guys joining in on the Rebel Suppression. Because I can guarantee that we'll need all of that. Uh, we'll work our way up across here. And the good news is, it doesn't seem as if things are going to be... ...particularly terrible, really. Given the fact, uh... Yeah, I think our... ...unrest... Let's go ahead and check that. Uh, what is... Yeah, unrest. Yeah, we don't really have that much unrest in it. That's even after using the autonomy pool uh, decrease. So that's, uh, yeah, that's good news for us. All right, now we do have a couple of provinces to also go and, uh, ooh, okay. Institution spread, fantastic. Uh, yeah, we're not going to go ahead and convert any of these at this point, I think. Uh... You know what? Maybe Narva we do. Yeah. You know what? Only 0.23 ducats a month. 37 is still a long time, but it is at least uh, slowly working back up there. We don't want to get too low in our religious unity. Alright, what have we got here? Uh, gain money, patriarchs, lose authority. Hmm. Oh, make them happy. I do like the idea of a bit of money, but I think I think we'll just go ahead and keep that growing. That will help improve our uh, it will help improve our unrest as well as our manpower in True Faith provinces, which at this point is a fair proportion. Do have a little bit of Sunni, a Catholic or two, but I'm not particularly worried about that. We have we have a pretty good spot. All right, now. Oh, we're also the Defender of the Faith. I forgot we did that. Alright, well, let's go ahead and uh, spend some of the Spy Network on the Novgorod. I think that's a good idea. We've got those. Uh, if we just pause for two seconds. Uh-oh. The silly is cruel. Uh, yeah, we have... Two out of three... Oh, hang on a second. That's a... Oh, so Rostov has a... 
I claim. Okay, well, you know what? That's not bad. That's uh, two out of three. That's pretty good. Uh, yeah, what was that? Our oh, air. He's a 535. Honestly, he's good enough. He'll be fairly strong. Corruption goes up. Land shock. Hmm. We've got a pretty good air. I'm not too bothered about all that. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, keep spending money to make money. Let's go... 0.17 is pretty good. We should also probably do a couple of these at some point. But I'm not sure how useful that will be right about now. Uh, barracks, is there anything particularly good? Not so much. Alright then, well then, let's uh, just double check here. Yeah, just a couple of churches and a couple of production buildings. Yeah, the more production we have, the better. Gives us more to trade with, more goods produced. Everything does far better when we do. Alright, so let's go ahead and remove our spy from there since we no longer have... Since we got discovered. And I think... I think what we're going to do is... Uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and take the land. Let's go ahead and bring our stack over here. Here. Um, actually, you know what? No. Let's go ahead and we'll use our mercenaries. Make sure that we keep growing our keep growing our manpower pool. Is I'm sure that they'll have a fort on at least one of these. Yeah, they do. Okay. Um. Yeah. Don't want to have uh, too much attrition for our manpower, especially since we need to regain a fair bit. All right, uh, 10 military power or 50 and a little inflation. Sure, we'll take the inflation. That seems like a fair choice on my end. The Isles of Blood is now integrated into our society. Hip hip hooray. Uh, let's go. Oh, and it is already part of a state. Excellent. Alright then, well, let's bring you guys over here. Um, how much we have? Yeah, only room for one more. Alright, let's bring you over here. We don't want you to get too close. We don't want to stack wipe a uh, small army. We could probably defend them, but if we're about to declare war, we may as well make sure they're out of the way. Alright, let's go ahead cleaning up our borders, get rid of some of this border goal. Let's go ahead and make our wall goal the one that we will want. And yeah, we'll accept the other one at full price, that's fine. Go ahead and confirm. Send in the mercenaries. And that should be... Oh, she wrote... Okay, there we are. We've caught them moving across. This should be a nice, quick stack wipe. Excellent. Let's go ahead and bring you onto the uh, onto the war goal, and this should be a nice, easy, fast mission. Actually, how much are these mercenaries? I do want. We should probably have a look at that. Now, if we go to our economy, uh, what do we got? War reps is going well. Spoilers of war. That's always nice. Uh, hmm. We have mercenary maintenance. Oh, it's only costing us 0.23. That's actually remarkably affordable. Ah, all right. Well, I guess we might keep them around just for a little bit longer. Keep our keep our military at a relatively uh, decent number. We do need to keep spending some of this manpower and increasing our reserves, though. Uh, that's definitely something we need to do. Uh, we also now have room for an idea. Ooh. Uh, extra half percent discipline as well as army morale recovering speed. Hmm. How far away are we on tech? Well, at the moment, what's this? We are two years ahead of time. Uh. Realistically, let's think about this. If we're about halfway and it's going to take us another three years. Yeah, we'll call it three years to gain the 50%. Uh, we should probably be able to afford it relatively on time. 
So yeah, you know what? We're going to go ahead and take the idea. It'll also give us a slight discount. And it may even get a new policy. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, where are they? Here we go. Uh, trade efficiency and movement speed. You know what? That's going to be remarkably useful for us. Especially considering how slowly you travel through some of these tundras. Oh, and apparently Novgorod managed to get 1,000 men up hiding way up in the middle of nowhere. Huh. Alright, well... Uh, I'm not really too concerned about that. Uh, let's go ahead and... Double attack. Uh, 1.2. So we're looking at 6 years at this point. Hmm. I wonder if we can get knowledge sharing from anybody, because that would be rather nice if we could. Uh, what about our little subject here? Do you guys get much in the way of colonialism? Not really. Hmm. Oh well. It'll be fine. Alright, very good. Mercenaries, you can... Yeah, we'll just send you up over there. We've already got everyone sorted out. Uh, let's just piece this war out nice and quickly. Let's grab our land. We will... Hmm. Oh, hang on. We probably have to hand this over to Rostov. Yeah, let's go ahead and uh, transfer. There we go. Now if we go here, we can hand that to them. They have a claim, so they'll call that up nice and cheaply. And we'll pick up the final one as well. Let's go ahead, make sure we take all of the money, revoke any previous cores, and uh, that's all we can do. So let's go ahead and set that demand. Excellent. A nice quick war, unlike previous attempts. We can call that up. Oh my goodness. 106 for Tver. That's, uh, that's crazy. Good thing we have a core. Alright, take both of those. 13% overextension, we can manage with that. And you know what? I think uh, with that, hang on, that's what we'll do. We'll repay our final loan. Uh, 254, what do we need? Alright, well, it looks like we'll do that at the end of next month. But I think that's a pretty good spot to call it for this episode. We'll, uh, yeah, we'll hunt down those rebels, just make sure that they're not doing anything that we don't want. And uh, yeah, we will we will come back in the next one and maybe click the button from Russia, or at the very least, start working our way towards the eastern coast now that we are more appropriately situated to expand. So if you do want to catch that episode, be sure to hit the subscribe button. It is the best way to catch all future content, and I will see you next time. So until then, thank you for tuning in to the Leviathan Cove. This is the Leviathan, signing out.